so even at that point of time i had debts like student debts up so i was in a fast action i want to pay that off quick mm-hmm. so i was doing all these uber or whatever it is like other side hustles we had the same night offer presentation at 11 o'clock we wrote an offer so that guy like uh, other agent bro leave it bro because i was ne- <laughs> negotiating back and forth and then finally my client was very happy even my wife was pregnant but i was keep constantly studying for it because uh, the family situation was that like uh, financial pressure was more on me did you had any family friends here in the real estate business when you started uh, no bro like to be honest the brother as like i was inspired only from his video <laughs> so <laughs> you know less than 1% of the real estate agents who are getting into the business makes less than 10 transactions in their first year yes that's the ugly truth but the question is for someone like you who is watching who wants to get into the business how can you make more sales that's why today i have a special guest who actually made 36 transactions in his first year and rated as number 2 agent in Windsor Ontario but that's not the cool part the cool part is he did all these things by being a part time agent so if you're wondering how you can do this being a part time then let's sit down with the guy who made it happen and get to know all the details bro how's mr vinesh good good how are you doing good bro thanks for the man thank you so vinesh you know including me whoever watching or yeah. wondering yeah. what the heck this guy made 36 transactions in the first year being a part time agent how the heck did you make that happen i mean first thing i have to say This is nothing without this man Aditya Soma. All the credits goes to him. There are so many realtors out there, right? Every day there is new realtors coming. So it's all depends on your hungry level and enthusiasm I would say, which is what I had at the start. To be honest, I had a different financial situation, not even enthusiasm, which I gained it from, you know, Aditya Soma, right? And and of course from the team. So that's what I would say I would summarize in a single line, yeah. hunger and enthusiasm. But also another point I want to add on here cuz I said part-time but i never thought you were a part time because your yeah. work ethics were such a way that you were utilizing every minute yeah probably you were at work space 5 to 8 hours some days i could even feel it it was even more than that more than that yeah for an example one day we saw the property at 10 o'clock we we did our due diligence and we had the same night offer presentation at 11 o'clock we wrote an offer and then it went till 2 o'clock so that guy like uh, other agent bro leave it bro because i was <laughs> ne- negotiating back and forth and then finally my client was very happy so yeah. i mean again next day again 8 o'clock grind goes on I enjoyed the process. Yeah, so that's a key, right? Because so many people ask me, can I do it as a part-time agent? Yeah, even though you're a part-time agent, you got to be ready to work as a full-time. You know, that is the dedication in my opinion. Yeah. Before I get into the challenges for sale, the challenging sales and all those things. What's your story? Who are you? Like every immigrant I came to Canada as a student. Right now, I have a young family with mm-hmm. uh, one boy. He's one and a half years old and he's actually one day born after Ragalia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not an easy process because yeah. you know, young kid and you got into a new career. Exactly. Even my wife was pregnant, but I was keep constantly studying for it because uh the family situation was that like uh, financial pressure was mm. more on me so you it had was... full time job and you're studying for exams and yeah. you have a baby coming in soon yeah. so, so it's 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 not easy it's not easy so what do you do now i'm working for a, a heavy construction this is more related to civil so civil anyways uh, we are anyways going on to the real estate side seeing the foundation roof it's more or less related uh, correlated in a way yeah. and where are you from back home back home from coimbatore Coimbatore it's it's, uh, it's uh, south uh, near the uti what does realtor nanman means so real nanman means so, as a friend oh friend okay so yeah. in tamil it's a, did you had any family friends here in the real estate business when you started uh, no bro like to be honest the brother as like i was inspired only from his videos <laughs> so <laughs> but being, uh, how long you been in windsor uh, 2017 december onwards. 2017 so, december so now 7 years and you 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 were a student and you got into full time job yes and then was the full time job paying well full time job was paying well six uh, figure yeah uh, not close six to, figure close it to. was it was five figure right uh-huh. uh still going on but again i was satisfied because i was among the crew like everybody okay joke having a party yeah. right so it was i'm i was okay until a point i was forced like you know my marriage came into right yeah. so at that point uh, more responsibility came into my plate yeah so what made you to to jump into something new so even at that point of time i had debts mm-hmm. like student debts up so i was in a fast action i want to pay that off quick mm-hmm. so i was doing all these uber or whatever it is like other side hustles yeah. but again i was able to pay that off within a year so and then i got married mm. right so i got married in 2021 mm-hmm. uh, responsibilities added on suddenly was trying to got pregnant and everything so that's when I, more than her i got like heat in the stomach <laughs> so it was like uh, more already a mental stress on me mm. which i couldn't even express to anybody yeah so i was exploring all the options right so i understand the story what was some of the challenges that you faced in your first few months 
So first few months which heavily affected me mm-hmm. was uh, some some agents uh, you know treat you emotionally wrong as well mm-hmm. like you know being a new agent and being a immigrant kind of mm-hmm. a thing so even though the mistake is not yours yeah. they try to pull you down always uh, you know keep it professional we all learned that through the course and everything we kept it to the decorum level yeah when did you made your first sale so first sale was technically 3 days after my license, license. So that Damn. was <laughs> three days after. So how did you find this client? So he was my, um, you know, um, the friend which uh, we studied together at the university here. Mm-hmm. And then again, like your magic came into it. <laughs> how how do I should know what he needs? Yeah. Those kinds of things is what made the three days here. Many of you who are watching have friends and family, because the first ones who is gonna connect to you, who is gonna trust you, is the ones you already know. because those are the people they are already in your network they know how serious you are about and one thing you know i believe in it's the your energy is what pulled him in your energy your passion for the work was seen by your friend yes or else he would not have you know trusted you yeah was there any challenges during this process you know to help him that uh, find that particular property so first challenge is like basically i was doubting myself mostly mm because uh, am i am doing the right thing am i am yeah. showing him the right properties yeah so that was my most challenge which i had cause you know with a solid mentorship right that was the mastermind another thing is like understanding the client needs yeah maybe he is expecting something like a strawberry ice cream yeah right and i was showing him chocolate ice cream yeah. so this is entirely opposite because yeah. he's he's not at all satisfied he's not interested in strawberry as yeah. <laughs> he's not interested in chocolate he's interested yeah. in strawberry now with this a given knowledge now i can show him strawberry ice cream with uh, the nutella on top <laughs> with some nuts on on top too so that's that's the change it happened you know biggest thing what i feel that has a new agents who are missing is like they don't see that bigger vision but you were you had that personality that you know you know what you're lacking you know what you have because if you are not a right student yeah. i would not be able to teach you yeah. and you are a student like you know my personal side like you are always a good student when i suggest something or you know when you are going through negotiations you call happy happy how do i do this and when he suggests something you go do it fully i trusted the process yeah like in the sense i did not doubt anything because i like for me zero sales history yeah. right and you been pioneer into it and then um, kuldeep uh, bro is also like you know having a very good business knowledge yeah. so that way you know whatever i can learn to yeah. help help our clients you know i i grabbed whatever the knowledge yeah. from team and from other sources and everything started implementing it that's where the yeah. magic happened. that was the one which gave me real confidence okay what was that so this was on my month second yeah so where my third and fourth sale happened on the same day okay so the client situation is they were uh, thinking to go to a bigger house but they had lot of fears yeah. if they sell this one where would they go yeah right so they have a smaller home smaller they want home. to sell that i was like going through the process okay yeah. let's 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 start the process and then i was showing the houses which they liked yeah. so we were putting offers almost a month we were putting offers with the uh, uh, house to sell condition and that time the market was heating up like yeah. last february yeah. the market was heating up because they were yeah, passing they were the rate. rate paused yeah so uh, so nobody was accepting our offers because nobody wants yeah, to condition yeah. to sell and what if these guys doesn't like the want to sell it at that point so yeah. nobody was liking to get that offer yeah so the the buyer was getting okay you know what venesh you know we don't want it so yeah. that's when we get creative we yeah. we got we, on a we call we found a different solution we, we found a different solution like we got the listing an exclusive listing yeah right parallelly i was working on another side the buyer side as well and then we got the same day offer with uh, terms favorable for our buyer yeah and then on the other end we had the 15 offers on the table yeah still we got the deal because we were even you know little bit we were even short in the money but yeah. their situation helped them yeah so we wrote a very good story uh, again like not a story like the real situation yeah. of theirs right and that really you know they were uh, they are, they love to give to the couple like them yeah and you know everything worked and then la- and that night i went to their house with a suite 
and they were literally dancing so that that made me the confidence yes i am doing the right thing yeah so i'm make i'm changing people's life yeah so uh, that that's so. a key right like you know even i remember how detailed you were like you know you were patient you were yeah. sitting down with the clients understanding their needs and wherever you didn't know you were always calling me like yeah. you know we were trying to find solutions we we gave multiple options for the yeah. clients yeah. we said you know what if you sell the property first this is what can happen yeah. if you buy the property first this is what can happen Correct. we can get you a bridge loan or we can do that we right. can do this and yeah. see whatever the perfect one where they are comfortable to make a move Correct. Yeah. and we got that and they sold the property for the best price Correct. Yeah. and they got the property got for actually decent price a de- very good price actually <laughs> yeah. it was under market value at that even that point of time yeah exactly so because the biggest biggest key in that transaction was their fear we understood their fear yeah and then we work around and we gave them a confidence solution solution for it that's when they the become a, you know, so royal second client. month you got one client two sales two sales yeah and they were really happy even yesterday there was another situation of uh, one of the buyer which i helped he wants to sell it mm-hmm. so if it were any other realtor they would say yes bro come on let's list it yes, yeah right but we didn't do it because we want to genuinely help him i told him okay what is the situation made you to this yeah and then he was explaining and then i found the root cause it was not the property it was how we rented it that's yeah. where we have you know i gave him solution yeah. now he's working on it and then eventually i told him when the market's getting better yeah right? then you can sell sell it so, so again you know this is where the key is what you became is a solution for your clients challenges right you know bro during this process yeah, were there any days you felt like man what am i doing this is crazy you know you lost motivation oh definitely like uh, because uh, working crazy all 7 days and again continuously iterate of same process right again how motivated we are still as a human we just drop that energy yeah right so where our team is there yeah. and support like i reach out to you and i'll, I'll call kuldeep bro like always pumped yeah. up with energies or poker right? nights or poker <laughs> nights so all these things gave us okay i have to take a step back yeah. right and next day morning again grind along this process you also started the content how did you started was it easy are you going well on that one so uh, it's a work in progress on mm-hmm. the content side like which i started which i'm very grateful because i am not even a person who put a single photo mostly in facebook even yeah. that's how i was like but again instagram i do it to show the passion what i have in real estate like yeah. you know at least at least what whatever i know at least in this point of time i'll share it to people yeah but so, so was the content helping you in any way definitely people are recognizing me mm-hmm. right and uh, even one showing uh, randomly i was doing for another buyer mm-hmm. there was uh, another buyer with another realtor mm-hmm. he just came he just uh, came in a next showing kind of time so he said uh, hi i said hi how are you and then he said uh, your uh, your nanban real ringer ka so he was like he knows me already yeah, yeah. so so i mean again he's somebody else client but he still waved in uh, yeah, and yeah. then he joked and then he left so so again like people started recognizing so that's mm-hmm. a good thing and then are again you, did you started getting any business out of it yes so already already a lot of people um, you know they the reached process. out mm-hmm. in the process they are you know seeing how we can do this 5% one more time bro yeah. kind of thing so. so what would you tell someone who is starting out you know who are on the social media journey how can they start so definitely it's an for a person like me mm-hmm. like a more introvert person it will be very uncomfortable yeah right so what he would think what she would think yeah. right still still now and then it just runs through my head too right but again i find a somewhere other other not to just quit yeah just to okay if it day you couldn't shoot it's okay yeah take a step back because i was thinking uh, okay i couldn't do one day and i was like demotivated Blaming some point yeah i was thinking okay i couldn't do it kind of a yeah. thing and then that took me some time even okay that's along the process yeah so that is also on the process so you will feel like this you will feel not doing that day but again wake up yeah. and start doing the same thing do you think this people who are following you do they have a positive impact it help you to make the sale yeah definitely because uh, sometimes uh, you need a decorum to socialize or show your deals yeah. right for example i want to market some of the off market pockets or mm-hmm. any other deals which they might be interested yeah. it will be very tough to call everybody and then yeah. tell but in that decorum i post something and who all interested it's like it's like buying a shirt yeah. you just show them shirts and then whatever they like they will ask you yeah. so it, it it's a happening thing find a good mentor and trust the process and become a great student especially in your first to one two years yeah. because you know don't focus on the money first one two years it's your university you know i tell this analogy recently i was talking to someone 
who was a doctor um, who is a doctor i asked the question like you know how long did it take you to become a doctor yeah he said 6 years what did you do in the 6 years were mm. you focusing on oh this much money i'm going to make mm. after i became a doctor yeah. or were you learning the subject yeah where are the organs yeah. what you need to pump to the organs what mm. kind of things doing all yeah. those practicals understanding the whole body human body so yeah. that you can treat your ki- client yeah. patient yeah. yeah were you focusing on the process mm. or were you focusing on the dollar yeah if you do that uh, i think uh, your transaction will be limited and soon you will be yeah. tapped out because you will easily buyers will sense you out yeah and uh, also the listing agent or whomever you work you you work as a buyer agent or a selling agent they will sense you out very easily yeah. because you know especially who knows the business will easily sense you exactly so that's <laughs> why the suggestion is focus on the process learn all the nitty gritties it's like you know the first two years is your university just focus on the process how what who are the clients where are they coming from what are they do what do they need yeah. how can you be their their service how can you become their help yeah when you focus on this part yeah the dollar will come automatically without That's knowing right. Yeah. right awesome hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure to hit that like button and also go follow the realtor nanban i'll Woo! have the link in the uh, description and also on the screen so with that thank you so much for watching and see you on the next video